Okay, y'all. About to get started filming this video. But I just wanted to give you kind of an aerial view of all of the lip products. Like, there are quite a lot. And I'm super excited to film this video. And hopefully pare this down by maybe about half. We'll see. Hey guys, do me a favor, stop what you're doing and click that subscribe button. I'm really trying to get to 10,000 followers on Instagram. I need you to head over and give me a follow. Thanks in advance. Now on to the video. What is up you guys? This is the video that you've all been asking me for. I'm so excited. We're going to do a lip declutter today. So if it's your first time watching me or my channel, I am in the middle of a massive declutter. Make sure you click on the declutter playlist. I'll link it in this video so you guys can see what I have been up to. I mean, your girl's been working, okay? I have cleared out probably three quarters, close to three quarters of my makeup collection, which is really crazy because I had a lot of it. So after this declutter there's going to be one more final kind of go through declutter and then i'm going to give you guys a full-on makeup collection and beauty room tour type video so make sure you stay tuned for that but for today we're going to finally declutter these lip products there are quite a few of them and yeah we're gonna get to decluttering so you guys already know the deal go ahead and pause this video and comment down below how many lip products you think i have all right drum roll please <laughs> we have 170 170 lip colors which is a lot it's quite a lot and I have went ahead I took the liberty and I went ahead and I kind of categorized them all into same shade colors so I did glosses I did like like what is this like an earth tone nude i did reds i did burgundies i did regular nudes there are so many different colors in here and i find that i do have also a lot of these same colors so we're gonna try to pare down a lot of that all right now let's get started all right since these are closest to me i'm gonna start here with the nudes and let me tell you this is like my beloved section here this is the section that i am pulling from most when i'm looking for a lip color so i feel like this is going to be the hardest but let's just rip the band-aid off and get through it first okay let's go ahead and jump in here i've just kind of laid them out like this so you guys can see them and we're just gonna go ahead and pick the favorites. I know at first glance, I wanna get rid of this one. This is Whirl by MAC. I really like this shade. However, I don't really use MAC shades anymore because it's very hard just to see what's in the packaging because they have those, you know, the bullet lipsticks without the clear packaging. So it's, I just never pick it up because I don't know what it is. So I'm gonna let that go off rip let's do some keepers i definitely want to keep this new maybelline vinyl i actually just got this and so i'm gonna keep this this is the maybelline vinyl in the shade cheeky definitely cannot wait to use this i'm also going to keep my two maybelline lifter glosses these are absolutely amazing lip glosses if you have not tried them yet let's keep this nars air matte lip color this is such a cute lip color all right, there we go. I wanted to get a little closer of an angle for you guys. Hopefully that is better. So um, this NYX Powder Puff Lippy, such a great lip product. I'm definitely going to keep her. I am also going to keep my two Smashbox. Oh, I have three Smashbox um, lip products. These are actually really, really good. A great texture lip product if you are looking for a liquid lipstick that just has a really good texture not super drying these are really nice i know they're very similar in color you know what now that i look at them these are super oh because there's i'm like these are super similar in color because they're the same color so let's get rid of one of them 
and I'll keep the other two. Um, my Patrick Ta lip gloss, I love her. I love this Jaclyn lip product. This is actually a really good lip product. This Elf and Alyssa Ashley, this is actually a gloss, which I put it over here because it has a little color, but I can't link it because it, it was a limited edition. So every time I wear it, you guys are always asking me what it is and I can't link it. So I'm gonna let that go. I like to be able to give you guys recommendations um, and I can't do that with that. So uh, Fenty Heat, this one is in the shade Fenty Glow Heat. I'm gonna keep that because I really love it. I can let go of this Sephora. This is the, one of their lip stories, I think. Yeah, lip stories, lipsticks. I can let that one go. I don't find myself reaching for that a lot. Here's another MAC lipstick. This one's in the shade Spirit. Um, I feel like I'm gonna let this go too. I did end up, if you have a lot of MAC lipsticks, one of the hacks that I have is go onto Amazon and you can find some of these clear like bullet lip tops and you can replace your MAC lipstick tops with those and then you can really see what's in it a lot better. Okay, let's talk about Anastasia because we have several of those. I have, I love this shade. I think this is bittersweet, isn't it? Yeah, bittersweet. This is one of my favorite shades. I've had it for a while, but they're just such good shades. I love all three of these, and I feel like I want to keep all three of these. Yeah, I do. Continuing on, we have this lipstick by Patrick Ta. This is another one that I thought was really, really nice. However, I'm just not reaching for it because I don't know what color it is before I open it up. So I'm gonna let that one go. Oh, I have another Anastasia. This one is in the shade Hudson. I'm gonna keep this one too. Very, very, very pretty. I love it. This MAC lipstick, this Dose of Colors, both of these we are going to keep. Okay, Kat Von D, I've had this for so long and I think it's time to get rid of it. This one is in Bow and Arrow. You guys remember when we all went crazy over Bow and Arrow? This is so old and it's time to just finally let it go. I have one of the Huda Beauty lipsticks. I love these lipsticks. I'm actually gonna keep this one and this is different from the other lipsticks because this one actually has the color on top so I know what it is that I'm picking up. And then I can let go of this Too Faced Melted Matte. All right, so next let's get into these reds. Reds are another color that I really love and really have a problem like getting rid of, right? So let's pull out some keepers and then we'll start going through things one by one, right? So first off, this is the new uh, Maybelline Vinyl Ink Lip Color. I actually wore this and I wore this recently and it is such a good red lip. I love it, love it, love it so much. I think I actually wore it in my last um, collective haul. If you guys haven't seen that, I will link it. But this is such a great red, so she is a keeper. Along with this Rare Beauty, I love these like orangey reds for the summer, so I wanna keep that. And then I wanna keep these two Maybellines. If you guys didn't know, Maybelline makes some amazing lip products. Like they are my favorite for lip products. They make great face products too, but lip products are where it's at. And so these Superstay Matte Inks are also very, very nice Maybelline colors. What else we got here? This used to be one of my favorite reds. This is the Tardiest Lip Paint. It's such a good red and such a good formula, but it's super for old so I think I can part ways with that I also want to go ahead and part ways with these Uma Beauties again I'm just not into stick lipsticks and not to say these do have the colors on the back side so if that's okay with you definitely keep yours oh this isn't even a red but <laughs> I have like look I didn't even know what it was so it doesn't have the color then all the colors on the bottom are red that's why I thought it was a red so I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of both of these because I need to know what color I have before I open it. Okay, so I've already sung the praises of these Smashbox lip colors, so I don't have to say it again, but these are such just really great lip colors. I would definitely encourage you to try them. I just haven't found myself reaching for the reds in the Smashbox as much as I reach for the other colors, so I'm gonna let these two go. I'm definitely keeping my NARS. I love, love, love this NARS Air Matte Lip Color. Um, I'm gonna keep the Fenty Heat, another MAC lip color that once again, I don't know what's in it, so we're gonna let it go. I wanna keep this new, again, Maybelline. This is the new Maybelline red lip color that I'm going to keep. <sighs> what else, what else? I love this Too Faced Melted Matte. This is very, very pretty. 
This is a newer lip color and I may keep it just for the summer and see how it works. This is a black owned beauty brand in Target and I've only tried this once so I want to give it some more chances. So I'm going to keep this one. Um, ooh, this is Ruby Woo. Ruby Woo was so drying. It was so drying, but it's like one of those classic lip colors that I thought, I felt like you had to keep in your collection, but I think I'm gonna let it go right now. Um, a Wet n Wild lipstick. I used to really love these. I'm gonna let that go also. And I think I'm gonna let, yeah, I'm gonna think I'm gonna let all of these go. Okay, we're gonna move straight from the reds to the burgundies here. And this Fenty Beauty lip color, we're gonna get rid of this for reasons I already said. I don't know what's in it. I can't see the color. I ain't got half of that. Um, I do wanna keep this NYX XXL lip lingerie. These are so good and comfortable on the lips. I love these, love these, love these. Along with this MAC lip color, this one's in the shade Make Love to the Camera. Such a pretty burgundy color for the fall. I love it. I'm gonna keep this Fenty Beauty liquid lipstick as well. We're gonna keep the Fenty Cream. Merit Beauty, I actually really like this lip product, so I'm gonna keep that. I'm gonna let go of this MAC lip color. Um, this is Havana Nights. This was so pretty. Such a cute lipstick from Ofra, so let's keep her. Ooh, we're not doing a good job here, honey. I'm gonna keep this one, no, no, no. I can let this one go. This is the NYX Line and Load. Let's let it go. The Sephora Lip Stories, we can let go. This Anastasia shade, we can let go. And I'm gonna keep this Pat McGrath lip gloss. Okay, y'all, I had to switch up the spot a little bit. I was on the floor and look, I can't be on the floor. <laughs> so I just switched it up on this little bench. Hopefully, you know, the quality is still there. But we're gonna go in with the mauves next. And I feel like I like so many of these. It's gonna be really hard for me. So, well, okay, Anastasia, we gotta get rid of for reasons we've already talked about. There's no color on it. The Revlon, this is a really beautiful shade. I used to really enjoy this shade, but once again, the bullet lipsticks, I just really can't get with if I can't see the color right off of the bat. Now, here's one from Charlotte Tilbury. This one, the color is visible. I just don't find myself reaching for it a lot. Very gorgeous, gorgeous shade though. Um, but I'm going to let that go. And I'm also going to get rid of this Kat Von D in Haze. Once again, this is just super old. Anything Kat Von D is just ridiculously old and I'm not going to keep. But the rest of these, uh, ooh, what shade is this? Graduation Day. And this is an interview. I'm going to keep the rest of these, I think. What about this one, Veronica? She was really pretty too. This one's old though. So I'm gonna let go of Anastasia, but I'm gonna keep the rest of these here. Okay, real quick, I have these two ladies. Both of these are gonna go. I'm gonna tell you that now, but I have this black lipstick in. Actually, you know what? I feel like you always need a black lipstick. You never know when you might have to dress up as something. So I'm gonna keep the black, but I'm gonna let go of this. I believe this is like a dark blue. Yeah, I will probably never wear that shade so i'm gonna get rid of that one our next set is i don't even know what you would call this this is like a deeper darker mauve maybe um definitely keeping this guy because these are my new ones here i love the nyx powder puff lippies but i also did like this shine loud lip product so this was basically you had the liquid lipstick on one side and the gloss on the other and you can kind of keep it with you and always touch up your lip color um, and then this one from Wet n Wild. <sighs> I didn't find myself using this a lot, but maybe that's just because I forgot about it. I'm gonna keep those and I'm gonna let go of this Wet n Wild lip color. Okay, so this is about as fun as my lip shades get. <laughs> I don't get too crazy when it comes to lip products. So um, these are like my pink shades. So it ranges all the way from like this Fenty Cream bubblegum pink to just these kind of muted pinks here. And first of all, this is the KKW lip color. Um, it's like a pale pink. It doesn't look like it, but it's like a pale pink. And I never find myself reaching for that. So we're gonna let her go. Um, 
This e.l.f. lip lacquer, I haven't opened it. Have I opened it? Yes, I have opened it. These are really good and these are like $2. I just wanna let that be known. Um, so I'm gonna keep her. I'm gonna keep this NARS air mat because I love it. I'm gonna keep the new Maybelline. This Maybelline lifter gloss is really nice and I love it. I'm gonna keep the Pat McGrath gloss. I'm gonna keep this Fenty cream gloss, but I am gonna get rid of this one. This one's in the shade Bubble, Bubble Binge. I'm gonna get rid of that because I'm not gonna use that. So I am not going to get rid of three quarters of my lip colors going like this, y'all. Um, yeah, this is not going the way I thought it was gonna go. But let's just keep going. Um, Fenty Beauty, I have these little bullet lipsticks. These are kind of like the brick, earth tone, like brick color almost. Um, this is a very pretty color. I love shades like this, but again, just can't see through the packaging, so she has to go. What else do we have here? Um, Let's keep Rare Beauty. Let's keep her. Let's keep this Too Faced. I think this is Gingerbread Girl. Yeah, let's keep Gingerbread Girl. Let's keep this other Rare Beauty in the shade Love. This is lip, right? This isn't like cheek. I think it's lips. Or is this cheek color? Y'all, this might be a cheek color. I need to check on this. But we're going to keep it nonetheless. I'm going to keep this Revlon Color Stay Ink. I'm gonna keep this e.l.f. lip lacquer. And that's it. Everything else gotta go. Okay, next up are the purples. We love us a good purple shade, all right? Maybelline Superstay Matte Ink, we love her, so she stays. Um, let's keep this dose of colors. This is very, very, very pretty. This MAC lipstick is very, very, very pretty. I love this Sephora Lip Stories lipstick. Um, other than that, I think the rest of these can go. So here's the next category. These are nudes, but they almost fell into like a nude pink-ish category. So I could have put them with the nudes, but I liked them in nude pink. So I, I just kept them. Um, I'm going to keep our dose of colors. Hourglass, Fenty, Hourglass, Revlon, and dose of colors. I'm only getting rid of this Thread Beauty. All of these are gorgeous. I got to keep them. We are down to the last three categories. And this one is like my chalky, chalky nudes. Like these are the ones that I have to, for the most part, use a lip liner with. I also put the, like the grayish colors in here as well. Um, yeah, I did that also. So nothing's like super standing out to me to keep, to be honest. Um, I'm going to keep this L'Oreal and I want to keep this NYX, this is Milky Gloss. I don't even want to keep that. Why, why am I keeping that? I don't even want to keep that. Let's keep this Pat McGrath Gloss. But other than that, everything else can go. Ooh, the browns. We love us a good brown in the fall and winter. And I don't know if I'm partying with any of these, to be quite honest. Um, ooh, yeah. I definitely can part with this MAC lipstick. Um, like I've parted with all the other ones. I'm just not feeling MAC lipsticks right now, so I can definitely part with that. All of these Maybelline Superstay Matte Inks, these are my jam. If you guys have not figured this, that out yet, these are my jams and these must stay. I love every last one of these. There is not a bad one in the bunch. I also love my Fenty Cream. I love my NARS. Um, I love my Dose of Color. This e.l.f. one is new and I hate that it only has this little bit of color in it, but this is such a good brown lip shade. This is probably one that I can see myself getting rid of like next year because I'm like, oh, I just can't see the color and I haven't been using it, but I have been using it lately and I've really been loving it. So let's keep her. Let's keep this other Fenty. We have a Bobbi Brown Crushed Liquid Lip, which I was obsessed with for the longest time. Um, and then here's another Bobbi Brown shade. I wanna keep this one. Ooh, I knew this was gonna be bad. Okay, we can get rid of the rest of these. Yeah, let's get rid of these. Okay, so here is the final category and it's lip glosses. There's so many, so I'm just gonna pull them out and I have a little 
pail right here in front of me and I'm just gonna put them in the pail. But I'm gonna pull them out as they go and we'll get rid of them, we'll keep them, whatever. Um, Patrick Ta, I definitely love and want to keep. Um, this is a ColourPop, I believe, just regular clear lip gloss. I really like that one. This KKW lip gloss, it was like super chalky. It worked with like a brown lip liner, but other than that, like look how chalky it was. So we can let her go. Oh, this Pat McGrath gloss is really pretty, but I just don't find myself reaching for it. So I'm gonna let that go. There is a, um, I used to sell the Cinegents lip scents. I used to get all of those and I have the two lip glosses that came with it. These were actually really good lip glosses. This one is a matte lip gloss, I believe. And then this one was a glossy, glossy lip gloss. So I think I'm gonna keep both of these for now. This Fenty Heat lip, bar, uh, lip gloss, I'm, I don't use this, this gold one. I don't use this one, so I can let her go. Um, I do like this little pink one though, so I'm gonna keep that one. I'm gonna keep my Tower 28 gloss because I freaking love this gloss. The Too Faced Lip Injections Glossy, I don't need. This is the Fenty, this is the original lip gloss and I have used and used and used this and I think it's finally time. I think I feel comfortable letting it go. Oh, these Kosas Wet Lip Glosses, so good. Definitely keeping keeping my Marc Jacobs lip gloss. This has been in a purse for I don't know how long and I finally found it the other day. We're keeping her. I can't get rid of this Profusion Sparkling Lip Gloss. I'll never use that. This Pat McGrath Labs. This is um, like a vinyl glittery lip gloss. I'm not gonna use that. Um, nor am I gonna use this Huda Beauty <laughs> lip gloss. Uh, this one, what is this, KKW? Just another like glossy lip gloss with glitter. I'm not gonna use that. Ooh. Anything super clear, I definitely love and I'm definitely keeping. It reminds me of my childhood days when you had all that clear gloss. It's just awesome. Um, this is another lip scent, glossy gloss. I don't need another so we can get rid of it. Huda Beauty, let's let her go. Oh, we're keeping Patrick Ta though. I'm keeping the Fenty Beauty lip gloss here. I'm gonna let the e.l.f. go. What do we have left? I forgot I had so many Fenty Beauty lip glosses. Actually, isn't this the same? This one's in Sweet Mouth. This one's in Baby Brute, so it's not the same. But it looks really similar, these two. This one's more of a peachy. I'm gonna keep both of these and I'm gonna get rid of Fussy because I think I have a small one in Fussy too. Or maybe I don't, because I don't see it and we're doing our declutter, I don't know. I'm gonna keep the Hourglass. I'm gonna get rid of this ColourPop gloss and I'm also gonna get rid of this Pat McGrath gloss. Oh, there's one more. Elf Lip Lacquer, let's get rid of her too. All right, you guys, so here is the final look at all the lip colors that we are getting rid of. I got rid of a lot, but I didn't hit my goal, but you know what? It is what it is. Um, this is 79 lip colors sitting in front of me, which means I have 91 left, which is still way too many. So maybe I'll try to pare it down a little more later once I group them all together and see what I have left. But for right now, we have 91 lip colors left. So we are getting rid of Kat Von D, Smashbox, Elf, um, Huda Beauty, KKW, Perfusion, Fenty, KKW, Pat McGrath, Huda Beauty, Pat McGrath, Lip Sense, Anastasia, Thread Beauty, L'Oreal, Kat Von D, what is this, Tarte, Wet n Wild, Anastasia, Elf, Patrick Ta, Sephora, Tarte, Fenty, um, Too Faced, More Fenty, Pat McGrath, Elf, Mac, KKW, Uma Beauty, um, Sephora, Mac, Revlon, Mac, Charlotte Tilbury, Too Faced, Too Faced, Anastasia, Kat Von D, NYX, More Anastasia, KKW, Fenty, NYX, Mac, Sephora, Mac, Wet n Wild, Jason Wu, Pat McGrath. What is this? Yves Saint Laurent, Fenty, Mac, Too Faced, Bobby Brown, 
more KKW, more Uma Beauty, NYX, Anastasia, Tarte, Smashbox, more Smashbox, Fenty, MAC, and Persona Beauty. So 79 lip products are going, you guys. This declutter, I think we did really, really well. Like I said, we're gonna have one last little sweeping look at my makeup collection and declutter anything left that we don't need. And then we're gonna do a full on makeup collection. So if you guys enjoyed this declutter series, make sure you give me a thumbs up and let me know. I really appreciate the love and the support. Thank you guys so much for your help along this journey and I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys.